Alright, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, how you can turn inequalities into absolute values. Absolute value uh, inequalities, equations, what have you. Um, but we're going to do it uh, using these pictures. So, what you really need to do is know how to turn inequality into one of these pictures. Because if you can do that, it's not very hard to turn um, this into an absolute value inequality. Uh, so, this uh, is a number line that goes from 0 to 10, inclusive, so those are solid dots, we include them. Um, so, what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to find the midpoint of uh, 0 and 10, which is obviously 5. Uh, so, that's the first thing, I'm going to find the midpoint. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the distance between uh, the midpoint and each of the endpoints. So, really what I'm doing is I'm taking the total distance, which is 10 units, so 10 minus 0 is 10, dividing it by 2 and getting 5. So I can go 5 in either direction here. So I can go 5 to the right, and uh, I can go 5 to the left. And those are the only pieces of information that I really need to write the inequality that I'm looking for. So I uh, start off by writing the distance. So the distance between any point within the interval and 5 is x minus 5. The problem with that is some of the points in the interval are to the left of 5. So like 4, for instance, would be 4 minus 5. The distance between 4 and 5 isn't negative 1, it's positive 1, so I fix that by putting in absolute values. So first I found the distance, which is x minus 5, or x minus the midpoint. Then I use absolute values to guarantee that the distance is uh, positive, because obviously conceptually I'm thinking that, but maybe mathematically it would work out negative. So absolute value solves that. Uh, now I have to see, uh, I always want this distance to actually be less than um, or equal to 5, right? I can go 5 in either direction and stay in the shaded region. So it's got to be less than or equal to. And then uh, the total distance I can travel in either direction is 5. So that's how you do it. Uh, let's take a look at another one. So say I want to go between 6 and 15, um, but I'm not allowed to include 6 or 15. So that doesn't really change much. Uh, first, I will find the midpoint. All right, so I add them together. I get 21 uh, divided by 2. That's 10.5. And now I need to find the distance between them and divide it by 2. So Distance between uh, 6 and 15 is 9, and then divide by 2 is 4.5. I can go 4.5 in either direction. Um, or you can actually just do the right endpoint minus the midpoint, and that would give you your 4.5. Um, 4.5 in either direction. So, same idea. The distance between any point in the interval, which I'm going to call x, and 10.5 is x minus 10.5, but I have to guarantee that that's positive, so throw in some absolute values. Now, in this case, I can't include the endpoint, so there's not going to be an equality, but uh, it has this distance uh, has to be less than, and then uh, half of the distance between the endpoints, which is 4.5. That's it. Uh, let's try another one. This one's going to have a, a negative value for its midpoint, just to, I don't know, spice things up. So, uh, negative 12 plus 4 is negative 8, divided by 2 is negative 4, so the midpoint's negative 4, and then I can go 8 in either direction. So 8 in that direction, 8 in that direction. So again, uh, the distance between any point in the shaded interval and negative 4 is uh, x minus negative 4. Force that to be positive. And then I'm allowed to include the endpoints, so it's going to be less than or equal to, to stay within 8 units. And then 8. And then uh, this one you would obviously rewrite as x plus 4 is less than or equal to 8. And then the whole idea here is to take inequalities and turn them into um, these absolute value equations and inequalities. And uh, so I'm going to rewrite each of these number lines as inequalities for you. So that would be the first one that we did is just uh, x is between 0 and 10 inclusive. Uh, the second one would be uh, 6 and 15. Okay, so the first thing I would do given any of these is I would convert them into number lines and then just uh, kind of use the geometry of the situation to, to solve the problem. Uh, there are, there's another type that can come up. Uh, so we could have this. So x is less than 8 or x is greater than 30. So let's see if we can figure out the same, same idea. So the midpoint and um, what I've done is I found the midpoint, I found the distance. So exact same thing I did on the previous problems. Um, the distance between any point in the, inter in the shaded region and the midpoint is still x minus 19. It's just that x is, you know, kind of on the outside this time instead of on the inside. So it's still x minus 19, still guaranteeing that it's positive. Now, in this case, I need the distance to always be bigger than 11. So instead of using a less than sign, I'm going to have to use a greater than sign. And there's no equality this time, so it's greater than 11. 
That's all it is. Uh, what type of problem could this have come from? Well, you might have been given this, in which case that's what we would do. Um, so let's go back here a little bit. We won. Woo! Um, so that's what I would have done for this. All right, let's take a look at another one. All right, so negative 40 to negative 6. Uh, I can include negative 40 and negative 6 this time. So first thing I'm going to do is find the midpoint, find the distance between them, and have it. So the midpoint's negative 23, and then you go 17 in either direction. Now we want the distance between any point that's in the shaded region, which is x, and negative 23. So that's going to be x minus negative 23. I need to force it to be positive. And then in this case, I want to be greater than 17 or equal to 17. So greater than or equal to 17. And that's it. Well, I can you know clean it up. I wouldn't leave it looking like that. So I get that. And then this might have come from something that looks like x is an element of uh, negative infinity to negative 40. So uh, that's everything to the left there, that initial left part. Um, and then I'm going to use the union sign here, union, uh, which hopefully you've talked about in your class. It just means you're going to take everything in every set that's listed. So the first set listed everything uh, less than or equal to negative 40. This next set is going to list everything greater than or equal to negative 6. And x could be from anywhere in any of those sets. So it, it, it includes everything involved. And uh, that's that. So that's a union symbol, in case you're unfamiliar. So there's really only three things you need to keep in mind. One is uh, you want to find the midpoint. Uh, number two is you want to find half of the distance. And then number three is one of those really obvious things. You want to get the inequality right. Um, so is it greater than? Is it less than? Uh, is it equal to at all? And uh, that's about it. So I hope this was helpful, and good luck.